What is up, Boo Boo Gang? So today, we're going to be reacting to Biggest Cheater in Boxing Gets Owned by a Legend. Shout outs to all the subscribers. Worldwide, man. We got special shout outs to anybody. We got Twix Rap. Appreciate you for so, sponsoring. What's it, Twix? Twix Rap. Twix Rap. What's up, man? <laughs> Thank you for joining our community. If y'all would like to join, link is down below in the mm -hmm. description. Box. A lot of good things are gonna come. You know what I mean? The people that uh, that's um, joining the community, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, just be patient. You know what I mean? A lot of good things are gonna come, man. Thank y'all for the support. Yeah. So what's this video again? The the, the biggest cheaters. The biggest cheater in boxing. boxing. It's on by a legend. There was a lot of cheaters going on. But this is. When Margarito beat Miguel Cotto, yeah, he had some, yeah, he had whatever. some, he had some. Uh, I ain't never seen this. Some uh, hand wrap. He he was like, you know, what I mean, put some some crazy illegal hand wraps on his hand. Yeah, man. Listen, ah. the sports is dirty, man. It's like anything else, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Every avenue of life, you got you got some people that always trying to cheat to get ahead, man. That's the right. game, man. That's the nature of this world, man. So I mean, dudes is taking PDEs, you know what I'm saying? You know, getting caught with all type of steroids, enhancing drugs, and all that. Oh man, that's what it is, man. It's, it's, it's... But this is the this is the rematch where Miguel Cotto breaks his eye and gets oh, yeah, revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that's tough. The first fight though, I mean, Marvin really <sighs> beat on him because he said the raps, and then you know, the second fight. Yo, I won twenty dollars on that fight too. You bet it on that? The first fight, yeah, I bet this dude, this this um dude in the um barbershop, he betted me that uh Kodo was gonna beat Margarito. I said nah, he gonna. But he was going for. I was, I was going How come against, he wasn't I was going? Against, I was going against because Margarito is a guy that comes forward and just just want to bang, and I felt like if he could pressure Kodo for twelve rounds, he could stop him eventually, and he That's stopped him. That's tough. And matter of fact, cheated, matter, of fact <laughs> matter of fact, it was twenty dollars and a free haircut, so I got a free haircut. Oh, for $20. okay. Uh, he know who he is out there in uh, Troy, New York. You know what I'm saying? Dead. Baller. <laughs> I betted that boy. I'm sweet. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got me a free haircut and twenty dollars. You know how good to come in the barbershop to get a free cut, and then he got to pay you twenty dollars? Oh my! <laughs> That's a highlight right there. Anyway, let's get to this video. Man. I can't. So who was Miguel Cotto heading into the Margarito fight? He was oh, that's Margarito. Right. Yeah, 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 One of the yeah, reasons yeah. people wanted to see the fight so much is it was the two best 147 pounders in the world. And I like you both. knew, given their styles, it had to be a great oh, action pause fight. Pause that. He just said the two best 140, what, 47 pounders? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> that was 2008. Floyd Mayweather was the best in 2008, man. Unbeaten, he did not lose, man. Stop, man. See, he's not the was Floyd's prime. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, but these dudes don't give this dude no credit back then. That's back then, he was the best, he was the best pound for pound fighter back then. That's Mexico. Not them two. Yeah. Come on, get out of here, man. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> crazy. Cotto is a much better boxer, much faster, much more crisper puncher. Because Cotto was this proud, undefeated champion. And he started the fight just outclassing so Margarito. But That's around the fifth or sixth round, suddenly every time Margarito touched Cotto, it was leaving a mark. And it was spooky. I mean, we know Cotto's heavy handed, and we see him landing these titanic shots, and they don't seem to face Margarito at all. The hair raising part, I think, really, was that Cotto eventually knelt. Margarito short shots on the inside. Like he had had enough. He acquiesced. And Cotto was such a proud champion. Especially an undefeated champion. The punishment mm. has accumulated. He was getting beat on. It's over. It's over. And if Angelista Cotto's going to throw in the towel. You don't expect him to go out like that. You'd expect him to go out on his shield. Like you have to separate him from his senses. Well, his but Cotto's spirit. Damn, he got beat on. Margarito. Yo. I and feel bad for his hard to watch. Yo, like, I know, I know Margarito cheated with the illegal hand wraps, but I was happy that I got my $20 in the free hand. Dad, 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 dad. I would have had to pay that dude $20, so I was happy. And the free cut? 
Like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so, I mean, hey, he treated, but hey. Like, at least he won the fight. Oh my gosh, bro, I can't. The way you couldn't look away. Koda was not the same Ooh, fighter. Oh, that blood. That boy. A lot of what made is Koda so done. Like, such an excellent fighter was his pride and his uh, determination. That was stripped from him. Manny landed a little right hook in there and follows up mm. by knocking Koda down. Victory for Koda. It was career altering for Koto. And of course, after the fact, when you found out that Margarito had hand wraps that were dipped in something, well, suddenly the Koto fight made so much sense. That Koto was illegally violated in Las Vegas three years ago. And they want a form of blood revenge tonight. The rematch was about Margarito getting his comeuppance. The, the cheaters never win, right? Like, he's going to really get punished. And in boxing, you're not gonna get punished. Cheaters never win and winners never cheat, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> struck out or dunked on, you're gonna get physically punished. And an annual steward. Caballeros in Chiena Las Vegas, todo bien, tocan las manos, tocan, tocan, por favor, tocan las manos, tocan, come on Antonio, touch his gloves Antonio, good, now you go. That would have to be with Michael Hill because he, in pre fight uh, interviews, says he's going to make him cry, he's going to break him down. And he's still a baby. The question's going to be if this fight wears on. If Margarito keeps smiling and walking through Cotto's punches, what happens then? Mmm. Woo! Cotto's still in the uppercut, but he landed the straight fight. The crowd is so anxious to erupt every time Cotto does something good. They may, for a while at least, distort their view of the world. Margarita just stole up under the bed. It puts me to just to the punish him. Tied right hand by Cody. You say he doesn't throw the right hand well, Amanda. No, they like it back. They like the first fight. Very much like the first fight. It appeared that Cody had the advantages in round one. With a tenth three edge of power shots, landed. Hand speed difference should be immediately apparent as it was on the first box. Yes, better hand speed, better power, better combinations, better foot speed. And he had a brilliant amateur back there on the top. But he had a, a certain Ooh, top speed. You said a combo? Yeah. Lock him up. Because he's, he's standing he's right there. The he's not moving. Fear of Margarito's punch. Mm. So Margarito's grinning. But the bottom line is, he's trying to say to Cody. Yo, your why do I feel like... The refs were like more lenient back then. Cause like nowadays you don't see like blood and like. Yeah, like they usually stop the fights. Like, yeah. Early now. Like no, they don't be like. They don't I mean, be like a real like beat I mean, down. Cause I mean like, like um, you see what happened to that dude, the Donald Stevenson, from Montreal. He um was like in the coma. That was off of a knockout though. But still though, that's for getting hit in the brain. True. When somebody punch you in, punch you in your in your face or your head. Your brain actually shakes. Yeah. Inside. I mean, it's hitting your skull. You know what I'm saying? Like, that throws everything off. Yeah. And, like, that's brain damage, man. That's true. There ain't nothing to be playing with. Like, we ain't, we not um, made to be getting our uh, face beating and head beating and all that, man. Yeah. We just not built for that. You know that's what I'm saying? That's true. Like, we got bones. It's, it's fragile. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Imagine you fighting 40, 50, 60 uh, fights your whole career and your whole career you getting hit in the head constantly. Yeah. By the time you retire, you're going to be damn near brain damaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes with slurry speech, Ali couldn't even talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After a while. You know what I'm saying? It's serious. To be a boxer, you really got to be, you know what I'm saying? Not really playing with a full deck to be a boxer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I no, can't. It don't matter if you don't like Floyd Mayweather or not. If you're going to be a boxer, you need to learn defense like Floyd Mayweather to where you you don't get hit, but you can hit somebody. It's the yeah. best way. That's how you last long in the sport. But to be getting hit like how these dudes was getting hit, that's crazy, man. That's tough. You know what man. I'm saying? Blood, eyes, cuts, all that. That's like, nah. Man broke his eye. Everything.
are not hurting me. They're not impacting me. What they are doing is left. scoring. Oh, left took by Cotto. Cotto counter punt. Antonio Margarito's right eye. So he's already got it. Really means the hey. Left by Cuddle. Three punch coming. Invisible. Oh, Every chance he gets. That's a big change. What he did last time. Cuddle gets on the right hand. Right after the bell. There's Margarito. blood in Margarito's right eye. There is a quote that said he would target it. Margarito's right eye is already showing blood. Cuddle this round. He's no uh, he's only landed just a Margarito's still stalking, stalking, stalking. Miguel, you got your revenge. How does it feel? Good, you know, I made my work. I went to buy. Like and thanks. The, uh, all the, all the crowd stuff. here. Thanks a lot. I love you. After the fight was stopped, you went to Margarito's corner and stared at him for what seemed like quite a while. Why? Just to look at him, you know? And taste my victory on him. Oh! You're going to see Miguel Cotto try to continue polishing his image as the best young fighter in the sport. That was just a perfectly thrown combination. I've said it many times, Miguel Cotto doesn't just beat you, he beats you there. Cotto always fights back. Cotto he doesn't nice. want any more and our clipper can't stop the fight. Yeah, he stops there. Celebration beat the hell out of Zed. Miguel Cotto. Cotto showing you his enormous courage. Cotto has something left. Does Miguel Cotto still really want to fight? This is a tremendous physical effort. He's making Puerto Rico proud. That's what he's Mexico, Puerto Rico, the two best 154 pound fighters in the world. Cotto comes back with the left hook to the body. That was the punch that won the fight. Miguel Cotto. So flips. Cotto is beating the hell out of him. It's over, and revenge is sweet. A sensational performance by Miguel Cotto. Now the Martini, the biggest night of Miguel Cotto's career. Uh, Cotto is definitely going to be, he's definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. He got a Hall of Fame career. He fought, he fought everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He fought Alvarez. Canelo, he fought Canelo Alvarez, he fought Floyd, he fought um, Pacquiao, Margarito, Shane Mosley. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He fought Zab Judah. He fought, he fought, I mean, he fought everybody that, that was in his division, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a big man. One person I would have loved to see him fight was De La Hoya. You know he saying? never fought De La Hoya? Nah, he ain't never fight De La Hoya. I wonder why. You know what I'm saying? But, he probably ain't, because De La Hoya knows he probably would have lost. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Kodo, man. You know what I'm saying? Legendary career, man. Yeah. But um, Margarito cheated again when, um, when he fought Shane Mosley. Boy. And Shane Mosley trainer went into the the room because like the trainer's going in to see the other fighter get their hand wrapped. And uh -huh. he said while he was in there getting his hand wrapped, a piece of like a hard, like a hard uh, piece of the, the wrap fell out of the, the hand wrap. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't gonna go do with the fights, so they made him rewrap his hands all over again. That was definitely evidence of him cheating. And um, basically, I think like he was suspended. I think he got fined. And his career, I mean, that was it. You know what I mean? So he he he's always gonna go down as a cheater. You dig what I'm saying? You ain't that good if you gotta cheat, bro. That's the that's the way it is. Cause the cats that's don't tough. cause cats don't really believe in themselves, so they they cheat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
So anyway, man. That's crazy. Shout out to all the boxing fans. Yeah. Shout out to Kodo. He's doing his thing, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. And peace be out. Peace out.